the 2017 Chrysler Pacifica now this is why I'm gonna get my helper's hand wit in diagnostic okay yes he has some classroom knowledge uh, forced down his throat now we about to get some hands on okay I got a misfire in cylinder 5 I'm gonna have him hook up the scan to and tell me what cylinder is misfiring on and what do he suggest we do to find out if it's secondary ignition or internal in other words should we be headed toward a compression test or should we check spark plugs and coil things like that first alright so let me get him over here and we gonna start with this diagnosis alright so yes it's missing fairly hard now I've already did partially diagnosis I already see where it's missing in cylinder five. My thinking is to swap cylinder five with cylinder one since it's on bank one, which is easily accessible. Look at that engine moving. All right, but I want him to figure out why we need to do what we're doing. I need to get his mind prepped with diagnosing cars, why cars are running bad, okay? The check engine light is not gonna always bail you out, all right? I'm gonna end this short video and I'm gonna start a long video and see how far he can go with diagnosing this problem. Because after all, that's why he's here, right? To learn, all right? So, hey, where you at, man? All right, just brought this one in, 2017 Pacifica. You see how that thing running? Shaking, misfire, checking the light on. So I want, yeah, so I want you to diagnose it and tell me uh, what you think we should do. So we're going to start off, uh, yeah, checking the light on. I don't know the codes. You got to figure out what the code is, and you got to tell me what you suggest um, we do. Yes, yeah, it's, it's running rich too. You can tell it's some unburned fuel. All right, so go ahead and kill it. Start it off. Hook the scan tool up, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start a long video. So y'all stay tuned for that long video. Let me see how well my guy do. Let's get it. Long video will be linked right down here at the bottom. Okay, that link right there. Click that; it'll take you straight to the long video. All right, let's get on with this long video. All right, ignition on. Yep. Oh, 64, 64 codes. That can be right. <laughs> yeah, it is right, but we're only interested in the codes on the PCM because it's running bad. You yeah, go to DTCs. The That's the main code. That's why the car running bad. That's why the check engine light on. All yeah. right, cylinder five misfire. Here's the thinking because this looks like this appears to be a secondary ignition problem, meaning coil or spark plugs. Now, if you can take manage to take the coil and the spark plug out of this cylinder and move it and the misfire follow that cylinder and, and most likely the, the coil? Yeah, it most likely found your problem. Oh. So that's the easiest thing to do. We got an hour to diagnose this car. We don't want to spend the whole hour diagnosing it. Mm -hmm. So the easy, I always go with the thinking, I want to do the, I want to do the easiest thing possible to get to my calls mm -hmm. quickly. So one. you actually, that's good. A lot of times you don't see that. You'll have a misfire but you act, you can actually see the the computer picking up a misfire. And what cylinder is in? In the cylinder five. Right. And imagine that. That was the code that was in it. P0305. You know how the codes with misfire work? Uh, uh, when you get a misfire, no matter if it's a V6 or a V10, uh, the last number in that code will represent the cylinder. Mm. For instance, P0305 is misfire cylinder five. On the is what? Cylinder two. Right. The last number I always Let's go back to the car. Alright, where's cylinder five? Cylinder five would be. Uh, so this is bank two. That one. This is bank one. Uh, cylinder five, 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 five. Yeah, one, three, and five. So. What do you suggest we do to find out if it's a spark plug or the core? If it's a spark plug or the core, I say we take one of the spark plugs over here that are working. Yeah, okay. and move it. But why would you go here? This is hard work. Remember, we're trying to do this as quickly as possible. I should take one of the yeah. the coils at top. Yeah, take right, right beside it. You don't have to take all of this off to get to any of these banks. In fact, you don't even need any of these. So it makes more sense to swap cylinder five with its next door neighbor yeah. or you know the cylinder on further down which what which is what uh, one, one and the other one is what three. yeah one and three makes more sense to swap five with cylinder one or three uh, it's easier right yeah. so before this engine get extremely hot let's turn it off and we're gonna do just that all right so I don't know much trouble it ain't much trouble at all 
And you, of course, let it cool off. I didn't want to put a fan up here. But, yeah, you can smell that unburned fume. This will, by far, be the quickest way to kill your cat converter. Oh. You smell that? Yeah. Yeah. Because that spark plug is not heating, fuel is just going straight to that cylinder. And you, hydrocarbon probably out of the roof, carbon dioxide probably out of the roof. That's why they turn check engines light on for to alert the driver to get this stuff fixed because you are polluting the ozone. So when it's cooled off a little bit, we want to swap. What you think? Five with what? I would say five with like with like one. Actually, yeah. three. Yeah. Either one, for one or three. All right. So grab you some tools when it cool down. Take that coil off. It's real fairly easy. Get the plug out. We're gonna do. Because this, how many miles on this thing? Because that matters in our decision making process. You know, if it was warranty, we would have to find out specifically the problem. We can't just go off. It's 153. 153, 153,000 miles. So at this point, we're not trying to find out which one. We want both anyway. The coil and the plug, that is. If it was warranty, they want us to find out exactly which one failed. So what we're going to do is, uh, yeah, exactly what we say. Let this cool off a little bit, get cylinder five out, move it over cylinder three, and then we're going to go back to the computer and see if the misfire Still moved. Continues. Yeah, see if it moved to whatever cylinder you put it in. Right. Then we can diagnose it from there. All right, All right you got them switched over. All right, so fire it up, and then we're going to go back to the computer and see if that misfire. You already got you. What you do, five with three? Next door neighbor, fire it up. Let's see what happens. I'm guessing you're still gonna have a misfire, just maybe not in cylinder five. At least that's what we're hoping for. <laughs> Lie, let's go look at the computer. You can't tell that way. All right. Uh, what do we have? Come dissect this. Tell me what's going on. It traveled to cylinder three now. Uh oh. What does that tell you? But the coil and the plug. Right. Are both clapped up. Now remember, if you wanted to know exactly which one, you would swap only one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Only the coil. But uh, there's too many miles. We're gonna do both anyway. All right. So. The misfire moved the cylinder out, and so we now know that this is a secondary ignition problem. The guy likely need uh, a tune-up, right? Major tune-up. All right, so that's we got that out of the way. Let's uh, look the car over, see if anything else. You know the drill. Look the cooler, see if the cooler leaking. Let it up in the air. Look at the brakes. We gotta look these cars over. 153,000 miles. Transmissions feel for life, so they don't really want to mess with that. So, but uh, and at that many miles, if they never did anything, I don't want to mess with it. So, all right, guys, uh, this went just as planned. So he got something out of this. All right, that was my goal to make sure he understand uh, this scenario. This was an isolated scenario. All drivability concerns are not going to be like this by no means. Don't get it twisted. All right.